Congratulations guys on going ahead and having your mallet heads glued up. That is a huge portion of your mallet sorted. So let's go re the clamps off and let's see what we've got ahead in front of us. As you can see here, we've got our mallet and it's got a nice mortise going through the center. Now the next step is of course to go ahead and figure out which is the top and which is the bottom. Now to do this, just grab your metal rule, come across and measure and see which is the largest. So that's sitting at 42 mils and this one is sitting at 39, meaning that this is the top of my mallet. Now from here, we're gonna come across and we're gonna mark on top, pretty simple, T-O-P, so we know that this is the top. Then you can go ahead and get your sliding bevel. Now this is a sliding bevel. It is set up like this, and then you can pull it through and you can set angles on it. Now we want it to be identical angles on both sides. So for this, move this across, and on your bottom edge, so this edge here, we're gonna come back and we're gonna mark back five millimeters. So just come back five millimeters and give myself a nice little mark there. From here, I can run this over to the edge here and I can bring this back like so, ensuring that the line's gonna go right up to the edge of that and then this part here is gonna go back to that five millimeter mark. That's right up at the edge and there's five millimeters down there. From here, come through and tighten that up. Then go back and double check because they can move on you. Now, this one's looking pretty schmick to me. So using that pencil, I'm gonna come through and draw on that line. So the great thing about a sliding bevel is when you've got an angle one way, all you do is you flip it around and reapply it and you get that same angle coming down the opposite direction. Now, yes, you could have just marked in five mils from each end, but getting used to using a sliding bevel is gonna help us in the next few steps. So we're back over here looking down and we've got our sliding bevel there and we're gonna come through and just mark in our five millimeter mark. After we have our two lines marked on, we wanna use a square to continue these lines coming across and back down around. Now the reason we just don't flip this sliding bevel back around is because with our glue joint, these aren't gonna be perfectly aligned. Whereas if we use the square and then the sliding bevel, we'll be able to get these perfectly aligned on both sides. So when we're cutting these off, we can actually watch how far we're cutting off and can make sure we're staying out of that line. To do that, let's grab our trusty square, bring this down. As you can see, I'm aligning it up to the pencil line there. And then I'm gonna draw this across. I'm gonna do that on the other side, the exact same thing, lining that up, happy with that. And drawing that across. 